middle of freaking nowhere, New Hampshire, looking for a campsite. Frogs. Throughout this video, we'll be looking for rocks and glass for flint napping. Flint napping is making a tool from rock or glass. Rocks. Why is this every time we have a big trip? It's supposed to do this the entire time we're out. David R. Starbuck. Flew to points found in New Hampshire. All right, so I wandered. Freedom. Turkey. There was turkey bait. So, sun finally came out. <clears throat> Rain stopped, and we're on a hike in the Moose Woods, and we're going to find one rock. That's what I'm looking for, one rock. The one. rock. The rock. A lot of blue jays in here. Make a basic one. In this case here, I am making an arrowhead for hunting or fishing. And you'll see throughout this video that I find rocks that I'm able to do this with. Into an arrowhead.
That's a big rock. Jeez. Squishy and wet. Somebody drew a moose. What do you say? Big toad. Oh, there he is. Go catch him. American toad. Mm -hmm. There he goes. down from the mountains to some glacial lakes south a little bit and I'm finding uh, more rhyolite right on right in the sand on the beach here really rough stuff look at that stuff that's Yeah, that's uh, that's high quality. Got on that really nice. See that? Hold on, let's go. Still rough, but it's smoother than the other stuff. It's got fossils in it. Hmm. hmm. Is this all granite? She says there's a bear over here, and Jay's like, let's go see. <laughs> Look, oh my god. It's a 
it there. Jay. So back behind me is Castle in the Clouds, and apparently there's bear here and chipmunks. But we came here for this view. It's amazing. Bear is pretty amazing too. Just saw a bear. Bears and moose and chipmunks. David R. Starbuck. Fluted points found in New Hampshire. In the interval point, this was made of Munsungan chert from Maine. The bee does not look very great. Mm -hmm. Pickles, tomato, lettuce, bacon, a sweet chili sauce, and pineapple on a burger. I've never had that before. Let's find out what this is all about. This is the Doc's burger. You got the classic. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Sure is it great? Yeah. It's still too hot. Hmm. And the dragonflies fly along with us. Oh my god! I see it! Twilight. 
super, super rough rhyolite. This is actually a meta, meta rhyolite. But you could nap this stuff. For sure. Oh, you see? It is the meta rhyolite. It's similar to the Pennsylvania stuff. So I found rhyolite, meta rhyolite, and argillite, but no flint yet. Limestone. Where was the argillite? back over there. I'll point it out on the way through. Okay. I kind of want to jump in. Let's go. Yeah? Thunder. Let's go. So this stuff looks like some kind of argillite to me. See how it's in sheets? Or just give it a quick test. Looks like argillite to me. Yeah. It's weird though. All right. that way. Why am I surprised? <laughs> so we got to the campsite and it started pouring and thundering and lightning. Here, you wanna, you wanna show them? At a campground, look nice. Picnic table, fire pit. We got river access down that way. Some big, beautiful trees, some mountains. Also, don't have signal here. No signal. Okay. New tent. This one's got a light. Built in. Maybe a lot of stuff will, uh, be, un out. be uncovered and wash yeah. out. Put on the bright side, right? I try. Why is this every time <laughs> we have a big trip? It's supposed to do this the entire time we're out. Yay. Alright, I'll record more if there's any uh, huge booms or anything crazy. Campsites here, it's like 22 at night.
you guys are used to this weather as well, right? All right, I'm going to go check out some paleo sites. Just to look around, see what the landscape looks like and all that. All right, I'll be back soon.
so we've got a temporary rain stop here. Uh, it's supposed to stop for like two, three hours. So this is the river that I know it's in. Here's a way down. A sketchy looking bridge. And as you can see, it's pretty flooded. Yeah, this bridge is, is pretty sketchy. Yeah, even the little creeks are uh, running pretty hard. All right, we'll wait a couple days, see what happens. What about that rock there? I can't really get to it. All right. I will be back, River. Oh, sketchy bridge. It's rotted and stuff. I'm gonna drive over it. All right, driving over sketchy bridge. Go fast. Uh, okay. Okay, so in the dirt road, I may have just found some. I don't know. I don't know, I'll test it. No idea. That is some rhyolite. That's some low quality rhyolite, but it's here. Cool. All right, now I know what it looks like, kind of. When the river goes down, I'm gonna be looking for this kind of stuff. Here's another piece. No, quartzite. that's quartzite. All right. Don't see too much else in the road up here. The river, the river is right here. There's a dirt road here, and I found something that looks promising. Here. I'm going to give it a quick test. There's a bunch more right down here in the gravel. Almost looks like a quartzite to me, but it naps nice. It's sharp. I don't know. Is that rhyolite or is that quartzite? Oop. Maybe you guys know. I'm not too sure. Well, at the very least, I found some nice napping quartzite. All right. Hmm. Awesome. Grab another piece. It looks weird, man, but it flakes. I don't know what it is. I don't know if that's it. Hmm. there right behind those clouds there is uh, Mount Washington it's like the biggest mountain around uh, recently when they had the, uh, the coldest day ever or whatever it was the coldest it's ever been top of Mount Washington you guys should go look up that f footage top of Mount Washington I think it was negative was insane. Negative 40 I, I had, or something. No, I, I feel like it was even more than that, but it was insane. 
I think it was during the polar vortex. Yeah. <laughs> this past winter. Yeah, go check that out, guys. I'm gonna test this, I have no idea. Do not know. Suspicious cows. Okay. So a lot of this stuff is napping. Let's see, I'll take a flake off real quick. It's like a high quality limestone. I'm not gonna take that. I'll keep looking. So I got these two massive boulders of I have no idea. I'm going to put them in the trunk. So, you know, just to be safe. All right. So I don't know if that's going to be anything, but we'll test them anyway. Quartzite. Oh, oh. That's crappy. Yeah. That is not worth taking. Okay. Like this. Stuff just looks like quartzite to me. I mean, it looks so similar in color. Yeah. It might be. That might be it, I don't know.
Yeah, I don't know, man. Here. I need help. This is me. I know, it's so slippery. Try a piece. I don't know, man. This flakes. And there's a black piece right here. You need a, a hand. I don't know, man. Is this it? Is a treasure? You guys let me know. Is that a treasure or not? What do you think? Shiny. So this looks more like rhyolite to me. So I'll test this. just looks the same all right I don't know that that's right like any of you guys know Highly nappable, I do not know what it is. Give it a quick pass. Sharp. This might be calcite right here. That's a cow sydney. Ooh. That's not yours. Hold on. Alright, so um there's lots of nappable stuff around. Is any of it rhyolite? I don't really know. Like I'm gonna have to research more. It's a waterfall right there. But uh is there nappable stuff in New Hampshire? Yeah. A lot. Yeah.
may have brought us up into the frickin' clouds. It's still raining. It's uh, six in the morning. And uh, I think I'm gonna probably look for a little more rock, but the rivers are definitely not any lower. So I'm going to start to try to make stuff with what I found to show you guys in this video. And uh, it's pretty comfortable here. I like this campsite. It's right on the, right on the over flooded river, right out there. But uh, there were rocks, they're just all underwater now. So, um, I'm gonna check out a few more spots. There's a lake I wanna see. And, uh, I don't know, maybe get an ice cream somewhere. I had some pizza. Uh, I have to say, coming from Long Island, uh, I do not like New Hampshire pizza. Um, I looked everywhere. I did not see any any pizza that I would consider my type of pizza. Pizza review. Oh, cool. By the way, we have a, uh, a light in the tent, USB, that I thought was cool that we did not test out yet. And uh, I'm really liking this tent. It's like a perfect size. It's got a spot to hang a lantern. And uh, I got all my books and stuff and all that. So, okay, I'll be back in a little bit. I think there's a... There's a mosquito. Right there. Right there. He's back. I'm looking. There's an old campsite right here. Uh, I went up into the mountains. I went up into the mountains to try to find uh, anything really. Flint, Chert, Rhyolite. Uh, I cannot find this Rhyolite. Jefferson Rhyolite it's called. Uh, I just don't see any sign of it. They said there's big blocks in this particular river. Not in this one. This is an offshoot. I'm looking everywhere. I'm looking everywhere I can right now. But even without finding the rhyolite, the goal that I had, look at this, guys. Like, look at this. I'm in the wilderness of New Hampshire. There ain't. There ain't anything here. I'm up in the mountains right now. Like, look at these weird mushrooms on the trees. I don't even know what those are. I've seen stuff here that I've never seen in my life. And I mean, like, sights, just visual stuff I've never seen before. Plants, mountain ranges that are huge. Never seen anything like this. I really freaking love it here. I'm looking everywhere. I'm looking everywhere for this stuff. Um, as I've said, I'm finding stuff that's nappable. I will be able to make stone tools. But I really wanted to find that one specific kind of rhyolite, and I don't know that I'm gonna find it this trip. The water's just way too high in the, in the areas that it's supposedly really concentrated in. Uh, I just can't get to right now. The water's too high, it rained too much. 
I mean, even this is, uh, even this is pretty high. Mountain Creek. Just absolutely freaking beautiful. There's bear signs everywhere. Bear and moose. I have not seen either yet. I'm seeing a lot of stuff that's snappable here. This is more than a, uh, way more than back home. Look at this. This for example. Let's pull this out. Oh, look at that, it's got a worm. So, I pulled that out because it's got a smooth texture. Let's see if I could find a rock to just test it real quick. I'm gonna put you down for a second. I'm gonna need a bigger rock. All right, I'll bring this one back and text it. Test it. I will bring this back and test it. It looks like some kind of limestone or basalt or something. All right, I'll get back to you in a minute. doesn't want to come out. Well, that doesn't look like anything nappable. It just looks interesting. Try from that one. The swirls. Still lodged in there. There we go. I'll give it a test right on the edge here. Some kind of basalt. It's really tough. Did flake, but it's really tough. It's sturdy. Interesting. Now where's that other rock? <clears throat> so this looks like limestone to me, but we can test it because you never know. It's limestone. You split it in half just to make sure. Come on. Yeah, that's limestone. Yep. railway Mount Washington railway but there's a sign here and it says pepperoni pond feed the fish so I want to see what that's all about I don't really care about the trains but something called pepperoni pond I definitely care about it's a tiny pond There's a good sign. It says, let me zoom in a little more. It says, fish forever, fish forever, work whenever. Proudly made in the USA. So there's a little waterfall right here. 
It says feed the fish, but there's no fish food. Uh, I don't have anything. It's probably bluegill, right? Or is it like goldfish? I don't see any fish. Okay, enough of that. I'm heading out. So this is the Cog Railway up here. Mount Washington is up in the clouds. You can't see it. But supposedly this railway, railway flies straight up into the clouds. And it looks really scary. I don't know, has anybody been on that? Is that worth looking at? I'm not going to go there today because like it's raining and you can't see anything. But, looks interesting. There's a museum, restaurant, souvenirs. I guess maybe stop in there if the weather lets up. I mean, it's... I think we're in the cloud. It's just like straight freezing cold mist. You could see it. There, you could see it. Look at that. I was totally wrong on the name of the pond. It's Pepper Ass Pond. <laughs> pepper Ass Pond. <laughs> Feed the fish. Not pepperoni at all. It's Pepper Ass Pond. Okay. So we, we had pizza here last night. Why is this dinging? We had pizza here last night and I wanted to go into the White Mountain General Store. It had homemade fudge and we just got some. Look at that. I'm gonna try it in a second. I also got new hat, White Mountains. I'm gonna keep the tag on and wear it like this the whole time. All right, let's go. Amazing. Mmm, wow. They gave us a little knife too. It's fancy cutler. Mm. It's almost too sweet. Wow. Might not need to get a coffee now. Hmm. Okay, I'm heading out. Mm. Mm. Thumbs up on that. Inclusions looks like. I don't know. Make a good axe head. What does that mean? That's not helpful.
what 25 cents looks like. Alright. What is this stuff? It smells like shit. <laughs> No interest at all. Like we don't eat that anymore. So I guess the landslide came from up there. Then. Hmm. Twenty four. Yeah. GPS coordinates. Oh really? Hundred percent rhyolite. Holy crap! Did we finally find it? This is not the Jefferson rhyolite, but this is rhyolite. Definitely. One hundred percent rhyolite. Oh crap, there's a little rhyolite point, meta rhyolite. test it. So this point of the meta rhyolite, I made a Stanley style, came from that. You could say it's really grainy and I'm just going to test to see if it actually uh, sticks in a target or not. But I am not throwing at full force here. I'm guarding my shoulder a little bit, but you'll get an idea. So I'm going to do uh, 
like a medium distance. Atlatl's really a short range weapon, although they have Atlatl throwing competitions to see how far you could get them. Uh, in my opinion, and in other people's opinions, a uh, short range hunting weapon. Let's see. <sighs> About that deep. Let me try again. That one went a little bit deeper. All right. Oh, point came out. So I have to dig that out with the pliers. So nowhere near where they said it would be. Yeah. I looked for the speckles with the black. Um, it's a meta rhyolite. It's very, very tough. Uh, they're similar in Pennsylvania, and there's also some in Maine. But uh, people said to use wood, wood billets to knock flakes off. Use wood billets on this? Yeah. But there we go. A rhyolite. There's more. This? This right here. I think. Pull that out. Let's see. It is really that wedged. Brick? It's just really wedged. Let's see. That does not look like it. Nah. The purple that, is more. Here's that pink granite though. This? Yeah. This purple? That's gonna wind up being more. Let's see. Uh, I could tell because of the speckles. Meta rhyolite. This is not as not as good grained as the stuff we just found, but this is also rhyolite. It's not going to be the prettiest tool, but let's see if I could get a spear point or a blade out of this. All right, that's not the Jefferson Rhyolite. That is Rhyolite. Good. Sun is starting to come out. Mm -hmm. The market. This is the meta rhyolite that I pulled out of the river. I'm going to take a flake off.
This is what meta rhyolite looks like. This is right up the road from uh, Crawford Notch where we saw the moose. That's the general star, sun glare. Let me look out the window. General star, and I just got a coffee mug. Don't moose with me before my coffee. White Mountains, New Hampshire. Freedom. Turkey. There was turkey bait. Okay, like that, like. Some above our river here. And right here looks like it was hit with a mower. Yeah. That looks nappable. I don't know what that is. It naps, but god damn, it's tough. It keeps breaking. That piece was brittle. Uh, it'll work, but it's tough, guys. I mean, I could flatten that out and make a little, little tiny arrowhead. I thought I was going to get something bigger out of that, but not that piece.
something. No, I lost it. Oh, that's a goner. Caught something. Come on, don't lose it. What do I get? Tiny bass. Oop. This looked pretty good. There we go. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Tiniest largemouth ever. <laughs>